Good evening. Good evening, Max. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, uh, are there any questions in the room? Max, uh, what really happened out there with the batting uh, performance? Um, it was pretty catastrophic, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> no other words to describe it. Um, embarrassing, I guess. Um, most of all, just disappointing. I, I just, yeah, it's not the Dutch team that I know um, to roll over like that. Um, yeah, just extremely disappointed because I know we're so much better than that. Um, and, and to do that on a big stage is even more disappointing. Um, so, yeah, no real words. Being an uh, associate nation, how happy are you all to see uh, Namibia go through uh, to the Super 12? I am extremely happy to see Namibia go through, to be honest. I think they've worked very hard. Um, they've been underestimated a lot. Um, so to see those boys go through, I'm, you know, I'm extremely happy for them. Um, if it wasn't us, it was going to be them. So, um, yeah, glad to see those boys go through. How do you see the Sri Lankan spinners, especially the mystery spinner Mahish Tikshana and then uh, Bani Dubol? Well, just too good for us today, obviously. I think um, you can't go back and play across the line on a wicket like that. Um, you know, it's not something we face very often. Um, being from the Netherlands, you know, these boys are extremely skilled. Um, and Hasaranga, you know, put it on a spot and got it going both ways and you don't know what's coming. It's pretty tough to play, so um, especially if you're playing across the line. So fair play to those boys. They were outstanding. Um, and we just weren't good enough today. Um, and that's cricket, and we'll be, we'll be back stronger. I know that. Gentlemen there. Um, hi, Max. Um, probably one for the captain or the coach, but uh, it's a bit of a surprise to see Ryan Tenderskarta left out today. Um, do, you, do you know the reasons behind it? Um, no, I don't. Uh, well, I do, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> uh, I think that was a decision they all made behind um, closed doors, um, and I think everyone was content with that decision. So, um, yeah, that's all I've got for you. Um, could you say a word or two then about his, his career and what he's given to the Netherlands? Yeah, over? I think, oh, I mean, I've played with Tendo for, last. first time I met him was 2017 um, when he came and played World Cricket League 2 with us. Um, and just his presence and his aura um, was something pretty special. Um, and I think we'd changed the culture we had by that stage and he was impressed. And that just gave him that extra boost, I think, to try even harder. And uh, yeah, he's been a great servant to Dutch cricket and associate cricket. Um, in general, you know, the numbers he's put up is, is pretty amazing. Um, so to have a guy like that around is, um, is yeah, phenomenal for, for young guys. Um, just to learn off him, and uh, he gives plenty of wisdom, and I'm sure he will do um, when he takes over a coaching role at some stage. Cheers, thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Uh, do you think the preparation for this big event did not go as much as it should have, or...? There were very areas you should have worked out. Well, the good question is what preparation? Because we've had three games leading into probably the biggest event of our lives. Um, one being a game against uh, Oman and a game against Scotland and a last-minute game against New Zealand. So our preparation for what is probably the biggest event of our lives has been very slim. Um, so that's extremely disappointing, and we're going to have to look back at that and see why we've done that. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of implications with COVID which have you know, led to that decision, but um, I know for a fact you can't go three games and you know, three warm-up games into the biggest tournament like this and, and expect to perform. Um, so that is, I think, extremely disappointing, but that you know, doesn't take away from the way we played because we were poor over three games. We just couldn't put it together. But I do think that comes with, um, with preparation games. You know, if you play... I remember the 2019 qualifiers, we played... 12 warm-up games, we lost, I think, 11, won one, and then we won the qualifiers. So that just shows if you can have a bit of time to figure something out, come that first game, you know it's a big stage, you get firing, and you can't just do that off three warm-up games. Cheers. Thanks, guys.